good to think. You know, I'm pro thinking, obviously. But, um, you know, I feel like now with like all these like blogs and stuff, like everything, every single thing someone does, especially girls in pop music for some reason, is constantly like analyzed, like over, like things, it's just like, it's not that complex. Not everything a girl does in pop music is a think piece, you know what I mean? And I feel like that happens quite often, not just to me, but like pretty much every girl, no matter what they do too. Like something ridiculous, like, why did Miley Cyrus wear that pink shirt? What does it mean? It's like, I mean, she wanted to wear pink that day, you know, <laughs> like that sort of thing. It's just gone kind of like ridiculous in that sense. And I feel like sometimes it's a bit like that with songs, but you know, a song's different to every person. I like clearly remember the first album about it. it was titled by Fiona Apple when I was six. It was the first like person that wasn't, that I wasn't like influenced by someone at school or wasn't told to like, or like, it was something that I discovered myself. And it really stuck with me, and I think that's why I became um, such a big fan of hers. As I, well, I've always listened to her basically my entire life. So I think she probably has to be like my number one musician for that reason. In some ways, I relate to her now, of like what I was saying with like the lipping like labeled thing, or like they wanted to say she was like sullen and like moody and crazy, and you know. And I don't really, th like she was frustrated with it and I think she kind of just like, was like, uh, never mind, I'm done. <laughs> you know, and like went away for a second. That's the thing that's cool about her. She'll just like release an album and be like, all right, here it is, and then go. But like the album's like always good. It like stays good. I really admire her as a person too. And I think that was also why I always like related to her music in a lot of ways. They'll come to shows and stuff, but I feel like it's kind of like, it's weird. It's not brought up ever. It's almost, it's kind of weird. It's like not acknowledged. And it also keeps me like kind of scared of my parents. You know, like I think it's a little important to be a little scared of your parents and like respect them in that sense. Cause you're like, uh, I'm still gonna get in trouble. And I'm like, oh, I'm like 30 years old, you know? So I think it, it kind of just keeps everything normal. I feel like that was, cause that started like way back, you know? Cause it was like a, like again, once again, it was a story, but also it was because she was very, forward and it, it scared people, intimidated people that she just wasn't like some meek lady. She actually like had a personality and I feel like the, um, the media and stuff like took advantage of that and warped it into something else. So obviously she's very talented and like lived through this was a big influence on me when I was younger. I really started listening to Hole when I was like in middle school. Like when I had like blonde hair and stuff, like people were like, oh, and when I had short blonde hair, they're, they're, they're always like, that's the thing, you're always being compared to someone else. Like in some ways I feel I relate to Courtney Love, in some ways I'm not. Like that's the thing, I'm still like my own person. <laughs> that's the part that's annoying. Like when people are trying to figure out what someone is or like when you're coming out, they wanna make you into the new of someone else. I feel like now I'm starting to be like much more concerned with myself than someone else, like another version of like, I don't know, I'd always get like, early Madonna, Debbie Harry, Courtney Love, you know. Or, uh, and then when I dye my hair black, they're like, Joan Jett. Like, it's just so funny because they're all so different. I've been like collaborating with people sort of and just like ran, like I always write. Like that's what makes me feel good is like writing. It's like therapeutic. But I don't really know if it's for another album or if it's for an EP or if it's like a one-off song thing or if it ever comes out. So yeah, it's kind of like all over the place. It's not even like even about leaking, it's more about invading my privacy and it makes me feel really weird and uncomfortable. It's like someone going through like your underwear drawer or something just creepy and weird. And um, that's kind of like my main issue with leaking more so than like, oh, free music. Cause like most music's free anyways. It's very rare that people buy music. Like the, like the people who listen to my music do not buy music. <laughs> very rare, unless they're like really, like I do have fans that like will buy it 10 times, you know? But um, yeah, like my fans will buy it, but it's just like my age group or like people that listen to it. Just like, I don't think they even know how to buy music at this point.